How you guys doing out there? I'm Scott D, and here's my solar system. I hope you like it. Thanks. Okay, here's my grid tie right here. Um, it's a uh, power jack, 2500 watt grid tie power inverter. It is doing 61.5 volts at 16.1 amps. Um, this is a 2500 watt inverter, a high power. It uh, has to have 50 to 100 volts to operate. We got the breaker here, it's completely grounded. Uh, I've got this uh, fan, external fan blowing on it all the time. Um, keeps it uh, nice and uh, keeps it cooler. Uh, this uh, inverter actually works pretty good, so uh, there is some warmth to it, but that external fan does keep it really cool. It's a great machine. Um, and I'll show you the panels right now. Okay, here we go with the panels. And uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few of them here. These are 230 watt 8 amp panels, 36 volt. These are tied in with the uh, batteries. And then we've got these 120s. They're about uh, six and a half amps a piece. They are 17 volts each. Let me go back here. And we got more of those 230s. So, the 230s, these three 230s, this 120, and then we got five of the. Uh, 120s here and those two 230s those are all going to the uh, battery backup and then 15 of these 120s are going into the grid tie that you see that you saw a few minutes ago in the house and those are wired in series of five and then these are all parallel here I got them all. I've got the parallel ones uh, wired into this uh, combiner box here. And then, you got another combiner box, which is over here. And these are all wired in. Uh, go over here real fast. I've got a generator back here. It's got a uh, Generac 8000 XP. Got a cover on it right now, and it's in a what the southern folk like to call a doghouse. It's a sound box, so it's not loud. It works really nice. It's got an AC, uh, a DC car fan in it. Oh, on my next video, I'll show you how it operates. Okay, here's my power room. Um, this is the outside of it. I just want to show you what I've done though. I've got a Yamaha 2400 generator here, uh, the silent generator. And uh, what I'd use that for would be to charge my batteries just in case. Right here. Just plug it right into this inlet right here. I've got a 
couple male plugs, I do that, and I've got a line that goes from inside of the house all the way inside of this air conditioned power room, which has to be air conditioned, unfortunately. Got a uh, Pro Watt 2000 inverter here. It powers a freezer. And then I've got a inverter, a uh, X-Power 5000 here. The 5000 swings 10,000 or surges, and the 2000 swings about 2,500 to 3,000 watts. And here we go with my solar controller. We're going to close this a little bit. And right now it's at 13.4 volts at 47.3 amps. And I'm letting the batteries charge up today. Uh, but what I do is I uh, run two refrigerators and one freezer at night. And they're not by no means uh, energy saving. They. Uh, all three of them together are doing about 300 watts um, every half hour. But I could run it, I've already done the testing, and I've got 18 of these die-hard PM1s. And uh, these are fabulous batteries here. And I've got some down here in this box here. There's my tools. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then I've got some more batteries, four more in this box here. There's my charger. Now, the way I work my power is, is that I, uh, external fan there, is that I um, run the two refrigerators and the freezer at night. And uh, I power it during the day until about 3 o'clock or when it gets to about 16 volts up here because I've got so many batteries. Um, I just like to power it, but I've gone, I can go five, set, five, five days without having to charge these batteries at all and uh, run the fridge and freezers um, with the solar. So I don't have to be doing this, but I just do it just to save the batteries so they last a, a lot longer, a few more years. So um, these batteries will last a long time. Uh, I'll let you know how long they last as time goes on. But uh, let's go check out the freezers when it's running, and that's it. Okay, here's the first refrigerator we run at night. And like I said, you know, uh, it's not really good to to make your batteries run and run and run and run on solar and battery because you're just your uh, your batteries will last longer if you just run it at night and charge them during the day and because I've got that grid tie over there that grid tie saves me money on my electricity anyway so you know just running this refrigerator double door freezer fridge then uh, we come over here and then we've got the freezer that it also operates at night or during the day or both like I said I could operate the system around the clock but I choose not to I choose to save the batteries so but if I had to I could and I know how to generate my power or operate my power so it lasts in case of an emergency. And you've got the feather freezer here. And then, like I said, outside it's about, uh, it's over 100 degrees right now outside, so. My power would normally be a lot higher, and there is a little bit of cloud. Yeah, there are clouds out there, so it's going pretty well for the grid tie and, and everything. 
That's about uh, 1,200, 1,300 watts it's pushing. So uh, it'll, it'll go up to 1,800. And uh, I pull out that meter and everything, but um, I'll do it my next video. And uh, you guys have a great one, and uh, God bless all those in 9-11. Uh, today is 9-12-2012. God bless. Bye-bye.